This is Henry Wilkins for VOA News at Kalia Beach on the Dead Sea. Since Israel's war started in October, it's had a major impact on tourism. The Dead Sea is in fact a lake with an extremely high salt content. It's become famous as a tourist hotspot because the high salt content allows swimmers to float effortlessly on the surface. But today, swimmers are nowhere to be seen. The shops and other attractions on the Dead Sea are empty, which locals say would usually be bustling with tourists at this time of year. Workers here told VOA. Cross the way, I want a piece. I don't want a word. I hope that all the tourists and all the local uh, people come here and enjoy it. We have uh, a wonderful place. According to Israel's Ministry of Tourism, tourists entering the country dropped by 90% in November compared to the previous year. It's not just Israel that's suffering a loss of tourists. The impact of the war is being felt region-wide. This week, neighbouring Jordan's tourism ministry said 60% of tourism bookings have been cancelled since October, which they say translates to over 200,000 visitors and around $250 million per month in lost revenue. Follow VOA on socials for more.